Hey, Luke, did you know with iOS 16, you can now restart your phone using Siri? That's impossible. It's not. Let me show you. Hey, Siri, restart the phone. Confirm. Yes. <laughs> Told ya. Hi all, welcome back to another Tech Connect. I'm Corey Ballard and today we are gonna find out if Apple has a sweet 16 on its hands with the new release of iOS 16. Let's get started. Siri has received a number of updates in iOS 16, including the ability to use your voice to turn on and off the auto answer feature. Turn on auto answer. Okay, I turned auto answer calls on. In our previous video, you may have seen us use Siri to answer phone calls, and we mentioned that you could not hang up a call using Siri, but Apple must have heard us, and in iOS 16, we now have that ability. Hello? I don't wanna to talk to Luke anymore. Hey Siri, hang up. Have you ever been in the middle of asking Siri a question and it cuts you off, not giving you the time you need? In iOS 16, you can now change the Siri pause time. You're gonna find it under settings, accessibility, and then Siri. We have it set to default. Let's change it to longest. Longer, longest, selected, longest. And let's test out its patience. Hey Siri, can I ask you a question? Sure, just ask. Corey has left me in the lurch again. He's still waiting to ask his question to Siri. But don't you fear, I'm gonna take us forward with the video and we're going to take a look at some of the new features in the magnifier. And one of those is the ability to save an activity. So we can save a particular magnification level, a color, a brightness and so on and so forth and save those as an activity and then recall them with just the press of a button. And I just love to read fast food menus. I never order anything, I just love reading them. And so I have saved one that's just called menu. Menus. Let's take a look at how it works. I'm going to press the settings button and then I'm going to press on menu and now we are zoomed in. We are reverse colors and we also have our brightness set nice and bright. So all in all a great feature and now I can see there is some great food on this menu but I'm not going to order it. What time is it? It's 1.40 p.m. One of the cool new features of iOS 16 is the detection mode that we find in the Magnifier app. And using that, we're able to identify doors, also people, and also identify the things that are in pictures. We're gonna see if we can identify the door here. So we'll go into our detection mode. We will go ahead and turn on door detection, and we're gonna swing the camera toward the door and see if the phone is clever enough to let us know it's there. Spin it around here. Emergency wait your handle or not, swing. Awesome, and that's perfect, because I need the bathroom. It's time to put the iPhone's person detection to the test. Let's play a little bit of Where's Waldo here. I'm gonna hide in this picture, and we're gonna see if Corey can find me with his iPhone before you guys can. Let's do it. Challenge accepted. Come on, Luke, where are you? I can find you. How about over here? Person five feet away. Nothing there we detected. go. Slow down. Detection if you beat me, put it down away. in the comment. <laughs> Comments. VoiceOver's received a number of updates in iOS 16, including 20 new languages and some new voices, including eloquence for our JAWS users. Let's listen to a sample of one of their new voices. Download Evan Enhanced 245 Speak Sample. Hello, my name is Evan. I am an American English voice. That's a good voice, but I do like the classic British English. Download Daniel Enhanced One Hot Speak Sample. Hi, my name is Daniel, and I'm a British English voice. Ooh, these voices are really realistic. One of the great new features of iOS 16 is the ability to unsend or edit emails and text messages. That reminds me, actually, I need to send a text to Corey. I, I took a sick day, but um, it wasn't for, you know, the reason that he might think. But I just need to uh, apologize for that. Hey, Corey, sorry I took a sick day today, but I had a party to go to, exclamation mark. Oh no, I just realized that I told him that I went to a party. I was supposed to tell him that I was sick. That is absolutely no excuse for a sick day period. You are fired, exclamation point. <gasps> oh man, I've been totally busted. Corey's just told me that I'm fired. Hold on a second though, I've just realized I can edit this message and we'll pretend it never happened. Let's go ahead and change what it says here. 
Alright, so I said I had a party to go to, but what I meant to say was, I had the plague. Luke Spriven, I'm sorry I took a sick day today. I was very sick with the plague. Wait a minute, I swear he said that he was at a party. Alright, well it looks like I'm not fired anymore. I love this new feature. iOS 16 has a lot of new features packed into it, both mainstream and accessibility features. Use the comment section below. Let us know what are some of your favorite additions in iOS 16. Did you update? Should everybody update? Why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and like the video. Share it to those who maybe are on the fence about iOS 16. Remember, you can always contact us at 414-615-0103. Shoot us an email, techconnect at vision-forward.org or visit us online, vision-forward.org. Thanks and stay tuned.